An NPR story that came out um, on August 31st also reported that this is the lowest uh, life expectancy rate for Native people since the 1940s. So COVID, in addition to some of these other pre-existing conditions, have pushed us back 80 years in terms of life expectancy for Native people, which is shocking because the state of Native nations and Native people in the 1940s was deplorable um, prior to certain types of self-determination acts, particularly in the United States, um, and the kind of funding that came along with um, granting self-determination and formal Native nationhood to certain Native nations in the 50s, the 60s, and the 70s. And so what we're seeing essentially is the pre-existing condition, honestly, of colonial occupation um, of Indigenous lands. I think the failure of the United States to you know, allow Native nations the space to practice sovereignty over public health, um, to practice sovereignty, to close their borders. Um, and in fact, I would argue that during the COVID-19 pandemic, we've seen Native nations have much stricter and long-term um, policies when it comes to COVID-19 and has actually created a model, I think a model for how other nations can handle COVID-19 that the United States just frankly just hasn't, um, both in Trump's administration and in Biden's administration. Um, and so it's really the pre-existing condition, right, is a, a structural condition, um, kind of the denial, continual denial of kind of native autonomy um, at the nation level to be able to enact these policies.